Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Virgo. How are you guys, Virgos? Hope all's well. Let's see what's happening. Virgo. Virgo singles. I'm going to do some overall energy cards. Single Virgos in their love life. The energy surrounding you. You see a new life. Clean it up. Wow. Someone else got this. Can't remember if it was Capricorn, maybe? Hmm. Virgo, energy surrounding you in your love life. Yeah, co-create. So looks like someone's clearing things up, clearing things out, getting ready to go down that path to co-create with someone. Wow, someone new? Or it could just, like I say, clearing things up, clearing things out before you go down this path. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about this overall energy? Yeah, slow and steady. I do see energy of change. Change for the better. Financial growth. Wow. What does Virgo need to know? I see you being here single. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. But there's something new in your love life. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So I do see baggage burdens being released. Clearing things up. Clearing things out. Beautiful. That's what you want. Oh, yeah. Someone coming in to date you. It could be them or yourself. Clearing things up. Take it how it resonates. Nice energy. Oh, we have the King of Cups. Oh, someone's leveling up. From the knight to the king. This is someone often emotionally mature, available. <laughs> Someone's ready for something new here. Yeah, so there has been an ending. Every ending is there comes a new beginning. So something has ended. Looks like the end of the single life. You've got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It looks like Scorpio. Could be anyone, though, with that energy. Someone who's emotionally mature. I see this dating going down this path. So little Pisces, they could be Pisces. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith, trusting their inner knowing. So this is somebody who knows they're going down this path. It's an energy of compatibility, the need to cooperate and compromise. Beautiful, yeah. So I do see there was something that ended. It wasn't long-term, something that wasn't meant to be. You see, this is someone who knew there was something that wouldn't that wasn't meant to be long term because you can see someone um, moving forward here. It's often a person who's sincere, but they focus a lot on their money, their financial stability. Um, but the energy of the world could be someone coming back around. But I feel it's just an energy of change. See, change for the better. Someone here just going with the flow. <laughs> Someone's catching feelings here, but definitely something ends. It wasn't successful. So now this is somebody definitely goal-oriented, planning, preparing for success, going down this path. So, yeah. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Someone trusting their inner knowing. See, thanks, but no thanks. There's someone here who just isn't right. See, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't long term. Yeah. See, it's a, a false victory. It ended. But now I can see this person. See, this is someone planning to go down this path. They have some goals. This is someone who takes great pride. Here we have, see, it's an energy of change, someone releasing things that no longer serve. So it's an energy of someone letting go of a situation that, you know, isn't in their best interest here. So that's where I feel something has ended. Yeah, there was definitely something lacking, lack and loneliness. Yeah. A lot of negative energy. Someone's a little drained, but like I say, it's somebody who already knows. They're trusting their inner knowing. It's just the situation doesn't serve. Yeah, so there's definitely been a lot of stress, anxiety, maybe some sleepless nights. Could be some regrets, but like I say, yeah, we got someone focusing on work. And I do see the new. It's somebody who's ready for something new. So let's have a look at the new. What is this new? I feel like you got a new person coming in. But I do see the dating and courting. Yeah, someone here possibly newly single too. 
two single people. Could be a workplace situation. You could work together. Yeah, we have the King of Wands. This is someone who's oh, very creative, somebody who's determined to overcome any obstacles, challenges, someone who pulls their weight. So it has to do with someone who wants a partner, someone who pulls their weight. But it's definitely someone who's clearing things up from their past, clearing things out. Yeah, you can see now we have um, three kings here. So someone analyzing the situation. They're doing a lot of thinking. They're trusting their inner knowing. So someone who just knows. <laughs> See? Yeah. They're just little Aquarius energy. See? Releasing things that no longer serve. And it does look like ending with someone. Yeah. Let's have a look at the King of Cups. What is this King of Cups up to? Yeah, so someone looking, holding on to things, see, that they need to let go of, keeping them stuck, keeping them single. So it's about releasing. Now's the time to let go of anything that no longer serves. It could be anything, holding on to things, material things. Someone here has worked very hard. They're successful, worked very hard. But this is where I feel. This is someone, it has to do with that creativity going down this path, the need to cooperate and compromise. Somebody wasn't. So, and it could be, I mean, if you're the masculine energy here and you are a Virgo, this is where I feel like you're holding on to something or someone's keeping you stuck and single, but it could even be self, okay? So, yeah, but like I say, things are getting cleaned up, cleared up. Yeah, see, breaking free from a cycle, a habit, a pattern. So very nice. This is someone who's been in their head doing a lot of thinking, stuck in a habit and a pattern. Yeah, so possibly a person who's dated a lot of people, hasn't had anything really long term. Yeah, see crossroads choice, see something ended, it's over. It's the death of something. To me, it looks like the end of the single life. Yeah, little Taurus energy here. So it has to do with two people being on the same page, but it's habits, lifestyles, the way someone conducts themselves. Again, the high priest is someone trusting their inner knowing. Yeah, something is over. This is also a person who's very determined. Um, somebody with a lot of pride likes to be a good provider. So it's an energy of, often it's an energy of being a little bit of a player. But I'm not seeing the Seven of Swords, but it's like the same thing keeps happening. Someone who's keeping themselves stuck and stubborn, <laughs> refusing to budge. Yeah, we have a person longing for love. See, a little reminiscing. Habits, lifestyles, the way someone conducted themselves. But it has to do with uh, morals and values. See, it's an energy of being on the same page. This is someone I feel who knows. The situation doesn't serve. This is two people not on the same page. Yeah, it's the way that, you know, two people live their day-to-day -day lives. Something doesn't fit. It's also someone here protecting themselves and their money, too. It be someone holding on to someone for money. But I do see the pride. I mean, this is the energy of pride, ego. See, now's the time to release all that. It's an energy of being more humble. So there we have a cycle ending. This is where things start to go in someone's favor. See, going down this path, two people here. It's an energy of looking to see what someone brings to the table. <laughs> yeah. See, it? there we have a person who feels confident. This will go in their favor. They're very determined to overcome anything. See, very determined, a lot of pride. They take a lot of pride uh, in their work. Uh, they like to be a good provider. And now there could be someone who's still providing for family or children too here. So like I say, someone with bills to pay, debt. Uh, they have a lot on their plate. Uh, but again, it's a releasing. With that star card, it's the releasing of um, the baggage. Things that no longer serve. A situation isn't serving. So, yeah. A couple of single people right here. I don't know if you book two people who work together, but it has to do with someone putting in the effort. It has to do with building. Yeah, there we have it. Yeah, we've got all the kings. Someone here is manifesting all the energies of the kings. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
king of wands. We got all the kings here. So what we have is the making of an emperor. Tell me about this four of pentacles. This is someone looking at the details of the sitch and what's holding them back, keeping them stuck. This is definitely someone who doesn't want to repeat mistakes of the past. So whatever happened, they don't want that to happen again. It's also someone who maybe feels they missed an opportunity. But they're trusting. This is someone who already knows. They already know the answers they're seeking. But there it is, see? Going down this path, no longer repeating mistakes of the past, cooperating, compromising. But the clearing up, too, is often sometimes people just get rid of things that are sentimental, things they've been holding on to from past relationships. Okay, clearing out the clutter, things like that. So, yeah, I feel like someone's feeling pretty confident here. Their habits, their lifestyle, the way they conduct themselves, a whole new path. So I do see an energy of possibly some change of lifestyle, uh, forming new habits. Two people being on the same page, there it is. And there we have the Princess of Pentacles looking at this. So this has to do with some sort of communication or offer opportunity, looking at the details. There's something sentimental. It has to do with uh, justice and balance, someone being fair. So someone's making a choice, I feel, between two. They're choosing a path. They're choosing between, you know, past situations, something they've been holding on to that's keeping themselves stuck and single. So there it is, an opportunity. Someone wants another opportunity. So it does look like a do-over, another chance, possibly. So I don't know if there was any secrets or anything here. It's possible, but I feel it's mostly this person's just trusting their inner knowing. They already know the answers they're seeking. There's some kind of regret. Okay. And it also has to do with unfounded fear of being um, ghosted, ignored, left out in the cold, fear of abandonment. It all needs to go. It doesn't serve. That's where it is. It's energy of moving on. But it's about going with the flow and letting go of the outcome. So very nice. Whoever it is, I mean, if it's yourself, lovely, because I do see the strength and the confidence. This is someone who's confident they're making the right, they're capable of making the right choice. See, dating somebody. I do see this energy of leveling up, falling in love, feeling emotionally uh, connected. Why? Because they're letting go of all this. So there it is. Something ended. A painful period in someone's life is over. It's done. Beautiful. See, it's often sometimes a person who just has that realization, too, that something wasn't meant to be or someone just isn't right for them. But I do see someone being fair and balanced. Definitely a decision. Tell me about justice. Looks like an energy, some sort of commitment. Yeah, it's definitely communication. That's your energy, too, there, Virgo. The magician, Mercury retrograde energy, a little reminiscing there. Sometimes this Mercury retrograde, this was a tough one. A lot of people reminisce about the past. It's a way of healing and releasing, looking at it, but taking the lessons you learned from it. Okay, because I see somebody here new. Okay, a whole new life. See, it's an energy of choosing the one. See, it's an energy of somebody here wasn't the one. It's about going down this path. It's time for a new path. New habits, new lifestyle, a passionate new beginning. Definitely that King of Wands, very passionate, very creative. So this is a lovely energy. Tell me about the Six of Cups. See, it's a situation in the past that wasn't successful. Now, it could be a single parent whose children have gone off on their own. See, set them free to go off and make their way in the world. Yeah, I see that for some. There it is. I see travel, see? Taking the lessons learned from a painful experience. Uh, it's also an energy of taking more time to get to know someone. It's about two people growing closer. But it's also someone avoiding a disaster. Why? Because they're clearing things up and clearing things out. I see someone holding on to material things, okay? Um, sentimental things. This time, and I do see even possible moving and relocation at some point here. But I really feel a whole new cycle. And I see an energy of kindness, compassion, and inner strength. 
So very, very nice energy. Yeah, see, moving, um, moving on, taking lessons, a lot of emotional fulfillment. So I see this beautiful cycle, um, happiness, joy, and a victory. So there's some kind of victory, a little sad energy. So like I say with this transition, someone here maybe was um, going through... Um, after an ending is always that transition, the time in between, uh, when a person kind of reminisces and heals. But it's also someone seeing the bigger picture, what makes them happy, um, you know, the goals, where they want to see themselves. Yeah. They want to be successful, yeah, but it's about partnering up. This is about finding a partner, someone who's compatible, someone who's confident, strong. See this strong partner. Let's have a look at that strength. Yeah, see, it's a strength to walk away, to end a situation, to put an end to it, to have this passion in the beginning. This is someone who's, like I say, they're seeking, they're looking for something new. Well, there's the new. You've got new. There's somebody new. I see a whole new life, new habits, lifestyle. Um, definitely a lot of positive. See, there it is. Searching for a house and a home. Uh, marriage, commitment, someone who's compatible. Uh, but I really feel there's a need to let go and release, okay? All these things that no longer serve. Uh, the negative thoughts, negative energy, letting go of regrets, also energy for, um, you know, forgiveness, forgiving oneself. Uh, it's a lot of it to do with self-worth. Beautiful energy there too, so... Yeah, this is actually a lovely reading, whether it's yourself or someone you're dealing with. I see a Taurus energy. Yeah, look at that soulmate connection. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I was like, soulmate. Yeah, so and this could be a friendship, taking a friendship to the next level. But I see the dating, the courting, and a person doing a lot of thinking and analyzing. See, making plans for the future, someone being grounded, but I see very materialistic, someone holding on to everything they worked for, but going down this path, because this is someone who's holding on to that so much, they're keeping themselves stuck and single, it's time to let go of that, yeah, there it is, love, making a choice in love, see, choosing the one, choosing the right person. The right person's there through thick and thin. Someone who's there. Nurturing, kind, compassionate, caring. Beautiful. Tell me about the lovers. Oh, yeah. We got the king of cups in here. This is definitely somebody wanting love. Yeah, see, they're reflecting on something they're holding on to that's been holding them back. Could be money, material stuff, or just things they're holding on to. Uh, that they look at sentimental things. At some point, you know, I mean, there's, if you, some people can hold on to all these sentimental things from past relationships. Some people cannot. They need to literally let it go. But that's the energy of clearing this all out, clearing it up. See, breaking free from a habit, a pattern, a lifestyle, or just thinking about somebody from the past, too, where it wasn't successful and kind of dwelling on it. Yeah. But it's all good because it's over. See, it's finished. So it's time for something new here. Um, I see reason to celebrate. See, someone searching. So it could be someone looking for a home, searching for a home. Um, but it, to me, it's looking for a partner. Yeah. Someone with this, you know, strong financial foundation looking for love. See, this is two people looking for the same thing. Two people who want the same thing. So it's an energy of being patient, investing. So it's about investing in this. And it looks like the timing is right. It has, to do with, it has to do with the timing. Something, the timing is now. And it's time to make a choice. Because it is possible this person could be walking away. They're waiting patiently. They're getting tired. They're getting bored of waiting. So, yeah. So that's the final message here, Virgos. Tell me more about the King of Cups. Yeah, see, someone waiting. See, to release all the baggage, things from the past. And there it is, the birth of something new is coming. Once the baggage is released, it's also a healing. But it's also an energy, someone waiting for someone responsible, reliable, compatible, someone who pulls their weight. 
That's what it's all about. Two people coming together, putting their, you know, two people with skills. I feel we got two people who want the same thing. <laughs> you know, searching for, you know, someone who's a partner, someone who's there long term. A victory. Yeah, see, it's an energy of a person. As I said before, it was here with other cards. Someone seeing the truth. They're holding on to something that's keeping them stuck. It's time to let it all go. Breaking free of that habit. It's time for a whole new path. So I wish you the best here, whether it's yourself or you have a Taurus or someone. I do, you know, I do see that King of Wands too. I mean, all the kings are here. It really could be anyone. But this is someone manifesting the elements of the emperor. All the skills, learning all those lessons and applying it to the next relationship. And that's the cooperation compromise. Taking time to get to know someone, making sure you're compatible. But it's also an energy of acknowledging what both people bring to the table. See, it's that coming together, building each other up, not tearing each other down. So someone may have had a relationship like that with someone who tore them down. Blamed, you know, the blame game, blaming someone for everything. Yeah. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Taurus energy, habits, lifestyle, the way someone conducts themselves. It's an energy of faith, commitment. Yeah, this is an energy of uh, partnering up. Yeah, soulmate connection. <laughs> there it is. We've got two people going to come together on the same page. Two people who want the same thing. You might, with the magician here, you might even be mirroring each other a little. Because I do feel you're both looking for the same thing. But I see a Queen of Cups here waiting patiently and now thinking about walking away, looking for something new because the other person's being stubborn. They're refusing to budge. They don't want to cooperate or compromise. Now, it could be a simple reading as two people dating and someone may be holding on to a lot of sentimental things from a past relationship. I mean, they could be all over the house and the home where... The other person's kind of not sure if the other person's invested in them the way they should be. So a little food for thought there too. It's all fine to keep that stuff. There's someone's memories. But like I say, it's about maybe talking about it, clearing it up, maybe tucking it away for safekeeping. Okay. Yeah, see a whole new cycle. It's a whole new cycle. End of a cycle, end of a, the time in someone's life. And I do feel this is a situation taking it to the next level. Commitment. Someone's waiting. And it could be a person. I mean, yourself or someone, this Taurus energy, someone here who, you know, hasn't had anything long term, nothing successful because of this um, stubborn energy. But it's protecting everything they worked for. See, someone enjoying the fruits of their labor. I see two people in that energy. Two single people enjoying the fruits of their labor, both wanting something new. Two single people. But I feel like you both bring something to the table. The skills, the, you know, coming together with those skills and building something more, a legacy. See, successful, long term. I see an adventure. It's someone coming to the end of a journey here. The cycle is someone's journey. And they are kind of reflecting on their life path people they've dated, success, some of their regrets. It's time to let it go now. Okay, wish you the best. Take care. Okay, saying to be patient just a tiny bit longer here. Okay, for the feminine. This is someone waiting patiently for marriage commitment, or at least, I mean, it could be anything. But it's like the whole new cycle. For things to go in their favor because this is someone who's kind of feeling like it may not go in their favor because we did have the three of wands where was that let me just clarify that yeah see it's a person who waits feels like they're wasting time wasting their energy on someone who isn't budging there's love here this is someone who wants love but they're looking at someone who's holding themselves back 
They're holding on to things. Whatever it is, money, material things, grudges, I don't know, just baggage. It's all baggage. Yeah, it's baggage. Seeing the truth. This could be success. It's, win, it's a win-win situation for both people if both people cooperate and compromise, and that's what I feel. So take care, and we'll see you soon.